Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red Part 19. In the last episode, we got our sixth and final party member, Jinx, which I'm super pumped for. Jinx is a pretty good Pokemon in my opinion. Uh, high speed, high special attack, and in gens uh, 1 through 6 when, well I guess, What I'm trying to say is, Jinx gets Ice Punch, and it's still considered special in this game, so you don't really need Ice Beam unless you really want it. But I might be picking it up later. We'll just have to see. Here we're catching Goldeen, because I guess I forgot to in the last episode. Now I've been editing my... Uh, <clears throat> current videos, the ones that I started uh, just doing it solo for uh, for the audio and I realized I was pretty quiet so I'm going to try to be a little bit louder and not talk so much like this and all that stuff I'm going to try to talk at a normal voice um, I'm going to I'm gonna move this table a little closer. I'm sorry if it makes noise. <sighs> okay. The microphone should be a little closer to me now. So that would make it easier if I do start getting a little quiet. But here, we got the tea from the older lady, which will allow us to get into Saffron City, which is the city that we've been going under for the underground paths. My question is, why don't they make, I understand for like gameplay purposes, but for like design purposes, why wouldn't they make the underground paths connect? Like the one going north and south and the east and west one connect just so it's easier. And why would they have underground paths to begin with? Is Saffron City usually like closed? never really thought about that until now interesting well we just got TM 29 which is psychic and we're gonna teach that to our lovely new jinx or Zinx, because she's a psychic type and she does not have a psychic move and it's better than double slap or powdered snow whichever I get rid of double slap So we're going to be doing some massive damage with Ice Punch and Psychic to start off with Jinx, which is all around a good thing. I'm going to do some rearranging of moves here so I don't have to move around whenever I'm in battle. I don't really, I didn't really start doing that until recently and it's pretty convenient. It's a convenience you don't know you need until you do it for the first time. If that makes any sense. But I believe in this episode it will be our lovely bike ride down It's not cycling road. Is it? I don't know. But I'm fast forwarding it because it's a lot of battles and I didn't I feel like I didn't need to show it off um we'll also be going through this is on the west side yeah west side of Kanto and we can get to Fuchsia City through here like I showed earlier or we can go to the east side of Kanto and go down that road road route which I will also be showing off, and that's another reason why I'm speeding it up, because there's a lot of battles over there, too. So, oh, I'm showing off these guys, some bird catchers. Uh, the music that is playing currently, if you do not know what it's from, from Pokemon Coliseum, it is the admin battle, and it is so good. I love this song. I 
that's a game I really want to get in, like, really want to do for the channel, like, kind of right now. But I'm gonna, I have at least two other games in mind. We'll see how things progress. But Pokemon Coliseum, I think it's a really underrated game. I know me and Jake talked about it when Jake was here. But I feel like it doesn't get the love it deserves. Because it, it is a different Pokemon game, but it's still a pretty fun Pokemon game. Hmm. Forgot I skipped over that. Um, our War Turtle evolved into Blastoise. Uh, I meant to slow that down. But I guess that didn't happen. But yes, we have our full party now. Everyone is fully evolved. Who can evolve? And uh, this is me. Okay, there we go. Almost finished up here. Man, it goes a lot faster when you're actually watching it. In editing, I thought this was going to take like a very long time but it it's pretty fast I'm glad I sped it up instead of just cutting saying I did it or actually showing the battles <laughs> but I believe that Maybe it may not be. I don't know what I'm waiting for here. Okay. Looks like we still got a bit more to go. There we go. Oh, we transitioned. All right. There we go. So yes, now I'm showing off this side of the route. Um, if you remember, we got the super rod in that house that we just passed. And down here, there's some grass here and there. But as you can see, all these people are trainers. There's quite a bit of them. I believe in total, the, like, it took me about 45 minutes to do all this. So that would have been around two to three parts. So, I'm glad I sped it up. And that's how you get to Future City. Oh, this is me going back because here there's another Oak Aid. And he gives you the EXP share, which is. It's. It, the EXP share is really nifty, and it makes me really sad that you need 50 Pokemon or anything to get it. And I just wish they would have given it to you like they do in most other games, where it's just. Here you go. But. It's whatever. I found this out when they released the... Was it... 20 years. 20 years of Pokemon. When they released the uh, Red and Blue. Was it Red and Blue? Yeah, Red and Blue for the 3DS on their virtual console. I found out that's an actually EXP All, which just gives... Distributes EXP evenly throughout the thing because in generation one Pokemon couldn't hold items So you couldn't give it to one Pokemon. It was just a thing and um, Yeah, that's the trainers kicking my butt and Poisoning me I think that happened, but I will be showing off this trainer because The other two trainers are like this. This is a poison type gym the other trainers had Drowsies, Hypnos, and I think a Kadabra? Which are all Psychic types. It's very strange. I can't, I understand, like, Drowsy because Drowsy gets Poison Gas. That's the only, like, thing I get from that. But I don't understand why they have Drowsies and Hypnos and a Kadabra in this gym and they don't have Pokemon like Beedrill 
like Beninat, Grimer, Coughing. Could throw in a Bulbasaur there. Right now, I guess Ivysaur at this point. Maybe even a Venusaur if it was uh, a little bit higher level. But I don't understand why they don't throw Pokemon like those those in. Doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, see, here's that Kadabra that I was talking about. Pokemon, what are you doing? But I think you need to get by this guy in order to proceed with the rest of the gym. That's why I'm showing off this battle. Does Drowsy remind you of, like, a dipped ice cream cone? You know, like, get the chocolate on the bottom. Like, uh, like Patrick in Spongebob when they do, the, like, the, the sports, sports episode where he dives into the chocolate. That's what Drowsy reminds me of. Oh, an actual poison type in the poison type gym. Good old Arbok. Yeah, so I'm deciding to uh, commentate. I would be actually editing these videos, but uh, Windows Movie Maker is not cooperating with me today. And yesterday, for that matter. Yesterday, it said my files were corrupted but then when I did it again my files were fine so I had to redo 45 minutes of work which was always a fun time and today it just straight up was acting strange like I would split a video wouldn't do anything else besides split it and it would delete about 70 17 minutes of a video don't know why it was just very strange so I gave up and uh, I'm gonna do some commentary and hopefully later it'll work I think actually later I'll just because I'm not done yet with Pokemon where did I end I think right now I'm on one island so I got one island the final gym the Elite Four, and then I'll be done for a while. I'm gonna do post game probably after my next playthrough, which is Sonic Adventure. I haven't decided yet, but it won't be right away. I'll definitely take a little bit of a break, start getting ready for summer, which is gonna be hectic, sadly. So I don't know how much uh, videos and how, how often I'll be able to uh, keep up with the channel, which kind of makes me sad, but college is expensive, man. You gotta work. That's my advice, just work. That's all you can really do. Luckily. I believe we are almost done. Got this trainer left and then Koga himself. And it's another juggler with probably more psychic types. There we go. Luckily we got Scyther. There we go. Love Scyther, holy. No. Hypno always kind of looks like he's wearing like a kind of like a fur scarf, you know? He's got that like white puff around his neck and he's got a big nose. But let's go heal up. 
Transition, 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 and we are healed. <laughs> Let's uh, get our Pokemon situated and uh, Let's face off against Koga. Coffee. Now, if I remember correctly, this wasn't my best run against Koga. This poison right here really did not help but uh with a sword dance aerial ace left that coughing alive got more damage on me healed then uh poison hurt me some more it's not fun But I was like, screw it. Power through it, I'll I'll know I'd take down coughing. Now he's got muck. And uh gonna hit him with Flareon's dig because super effective damage. And uh Oh, hear him debating. Fl flamethrower would infinitely be better than dig, so of course flamethrower. Didn't do a whole lot. And then he minimizes on me. And it's not fun times. Go to dig. If you minimize it again. No, it toxics. Yeah. Thanks, minimize. And then he does a lot of damage to my Flareon. Don't know why I'm digging, because I can attack twice with Flamethrower, and it wouldn't be a higher chance to hit, it would be the same amount of hit with the dig, but it would be a stronger move. And there goes Flareon. <sighs> but we got Jinx. Who can just psychic this muck? Take him out. A Muck's actually really good in this generation, and he's not a bad Pokemon, but in this generation, Poison is considered a physical type, and Muck has some high physical attack. Pair that with like a Sludge Bomb, you're going to be doing a lot of damage. Oh, here yeah, we're showing off Blastoise. I don't, I, didn't, I don't remember if we showed off Blastoise with the other gym trainers, but if not, here we are with our lovely new Blastoise, and we're getting rid of him. All right, back out, back out to Jinx. Level forty-three wheezing, which is a little ridiculous in my opinion, because this is the fifth gym that you're supposed to do if you're doing it in any order. That's why I do this gym first, is because you're supposed to do it in this order. Most people go to Sabrina in Saffron, and you saw that we got into Saffron earlier in this video. And they do the Sylphco, which will be we be which we will be doing in the next part. And then they do Sabrina, and they do Koga. And I actually think Koga and Sabrina have. I think Sabrina has one less Pokemon, but their aces are the same level. I think both 43. But we will see, Sabrina. I guess not in the next episode. We're going to be doing Silk Co. And I think that'll take up the entire episode. And then we'll be doing Sabrina. Either way. See you guys in the next part.